What's up, guys? This is episode 5 of The Journey Continues. It's Friday, March 8th, right around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm getting ready for the weekend. Um, I just finished a round of uh, workouts uh, the past 10, 11 days. Um, overhead press workout, my bench workout, my um, squat and deadlift workouts. Um, today I, I did deadlifts, and everything's just it's going smooth. Um, all my lifts are going up, uh, actually faster than I anticipated, and um, I kind of don't see it slowing down uh, within the next at least three to four weeks. Um, I still feel like you know I have room left in the tank on my on my heavy sets on my 90% uh, set, which is you know of my estimated one rep max. Um, those main lifts keep going up, and I'm 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 grinding a little bit but not grinding too much on the sets you'll see in the in the clips that I have here of the workouts that um, um, I'm starting to increase weight I'm starting to push myself a little bit but I still have some room left in the tank and that's uh, it's having me feel really confident moving forward that um, I got a lot more room for for progress before I have to make some type of adjustments um, to this program um, so I'm, I'm looking I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm sitting right now, and um, I, I'm loving this approach I'm taking. Um, my philosophy right now, well, I won't say right now, it's always been uh, to keep things simple, to keep things basic. Um, right now, I'm only running like 10 exercises, and I'm training maybe once every other day or once every third day. Um, actually, from February 27th. I worked out on February 27th, and my next workout was until March 4th. Um, not because it was planned, but just because life. Uh, I had some life things that I need to deal with, so I made it a priority to take care of my life uh, ahead of training. And um, like I missed, I don't know how many days that was that span, but I missed quite a few days in a row, and came back in the gym and didn't miss a beat. So it's just it's just proven to me uh, over and over again that um, personally I perform better. Uh, with more rest um, than when I when I don't have enough rest, so I make it a point to actually keep at least one to two days in between my workouts as far as uh, off days, and um, I'm gonna keep running that running that. So every, every my I have four different workouts, so it's gonna take me you know, 10, 11 days to get through those four workouts. So I'm gonna keep that rolling, and uh, it's the same thing I was doing prior to my layoff. I was uh, training once every two days, once every third day, um, and if I felt beat up, then I would take an extra day off. And uh, I, I was working my squats up, I was working my deadlifts up, P I was getting PRs on squats, deadlifts, and overhead press. And and again, um, coming off that layoff, um, I, I went with this program again, kept it simple, kept kept the basics, stuck with just ten exercises, and my main focus is to make those ten exercises perfect like make those solid as far as form as far as improving my strength on those um, because we know you get stronger then chances are you're gonna get you're gonna gain more muscle so um, my main focus is those lifts and I'm not gonna do anything um, anything different until um, things just stop completely stop um, I do have some guys say hey Jeff uh, when's a good time to change programs um, I always say there's two two reasons to change a program. Uh, one, progress just totally stagnates and it stalls like it just you're done making progress on it. Um, and two, you're not having fun anymore. Um, those are the only two reasons why I would change a program. So basically, this program I don't see it stalling anytime soon. Um, I may have some slowdowns here and there, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna flip my whole program around. It just means I'm going to maybe tweak some things here and there. Um, small adjustments to keep progress rolling. You don't necessarily have to, um, like if you're on a program for 12 weeks and all of a sudden progress, you know, kind of slows down a little bit. Everybody, some people will tend to panic a little bit and say, "Hey, hey, now I'm gonna go try that program now because I'm slowing down here." No, just tweak it a little bit. You know, get yourself moving. Maybe you have to adjust volume. Maybe you have to adjust your intensity. Maybe you need more rest days. Maybe you need uh, less rest days. There's just so many variables to it. So. Um, that's kind of how I'm, I'm running this program I'm on now. Is just simple. Um, let it take its course. If I see some slowdowns, I'll, I'll make adjustments. Um, but yeah, so basically, yeah, um, that's it for me. I'm kind of rambling now. 
Um, in a nutshell, I'm doing really well. And here's uh, the past four workouts uh, highlights. These are all um, clips from like uh, well, the four main lifts are of, of my heavy set, and then uh, some of the other highlights are from uh, my accessory movements. So uh, basically, that's it. Um, until episode six, I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Alright, here we got overhead press day, and basically this is my 90% um, set, uh, uh, estimated one rep max, and ended up being 195 pounds, and um, felt good uh, from last week. I was able to uh, move up a little bit in weight, and I grinded out uh, 5 reps in that last rep here, that was you know, a grinder, but uh, for some reason I'm pretty good at overhead press and grinding out those last reps, I'm able to maintain pretty good form in doing it. Um, right here is some uh, tricep press downs and the goal was uh, three sets by ten um, for the previous week I, I failed on three sets by ten uh, so the goal is just to kind of stick with the same weight and see if I could uh, get that three sets by ten and this was actually my first set and I was able to hit the ten um, but the second set I was able I was only uh, I only nailed down eight reps and uh, here, this is uh, my third and last set, and right away, that first set was right there. That first rep, I mean, was uh, really terrible, and, and fatigue was starting to set in. And I think that uh, the overhead press, really, those, those that grinder rep really uh, torched my triceps. So, um, but at any way, in any way, um, I basically had a great tricep workout regardless. Um, and then here you go. Um, this was a few days later, um, like five, six days later, and this is my second workout of the cycle. Um, this was squats. This was my heavy set. And it's uh, right here at, at 385 pounds. Um, this is basically my second heavy squat workout since coming back. Um, you'll see this first rep that I do is a little bit. Uh, I go down pretty slow because I'm not uh, used to that amount of weight, so I was getting myself acclimated. And here you can see the second, third. Uh, reps a uh, little bit quicker in the descent, a um, little more comfortable, and I was feeling the groove. Um, so basically, I was able to hit four reps with 385, um, which is a 20 pound jump from uh, the last time I did squats at 365. So I was pretty happy about that, and the same amount of reps too. So it, yeah, successful. Um, bench press. This is my heavy set, um, 275. Um, I was able to hit four solid reps in the week prior I did 270 for, for three, I believe. So uh, a nice five pound improvement and also one extra rep. So I was happy about that. Um, and then here, these are mid shin rows uh, off of uh, safety safety racks or safety pins. And um, a lot of people ask me why I do them like this. And basically it eliminates all that momentum. Uh, if you don't have that safety pins there, a lot of times you got to use the leg drive. You use uh, uh, the momentum from the weight will get you to bend your knees, bend your legs, and when you spring back up, you're kind of using your quads to get the, the weight back up. So here you're using, um, growing off of those supports, uh, it totally eliminates momentum. And you want to definitely uh, have the bend in your knees, you want to uh, keep your low back arced, your chest up, and you want to just eliminate as much momentum as possible. And it really, really targets the back a lot more. And uh, it really prevents you from using um, a lot of weight, uh, too much weight that you see some guys doing on regular days where um, it looks like they're uh, doing some type of slingshot movement. There's so much momentum going on. Uh, so again, um, this is 255. Um, I did three sets, uh, eight reps. Felt pretty good. Um, so next week I might be looking to go up maybe uh, another five, ten pounds and see if I can maybe bang out three three sets by eight reps or three sets by seven reps so um barbell curls um i went with 95 pounds because basically i needed to make a client phone call in like two minutes before this or two minutes after the set so instead of doing my usual three sets um i said you know what i'm just gonna do one all out set i'm just gonna put 95 pounds on there and just go for broke and basically, I don't recall how many reps I did, but I basically just went till um, I was pretty close to failure, if not where I felt like I just could uh, couldn't get another rep. So basically, um, I don't know. You want to want to call it an RP of uh, 9.5. Um, so yeah, it was a uh, something I'm not used to yet, as far as going uh, that intense or going to failure. It's not something I 
um, want to do anytime soon again uh, going to failure um, I used to train going to failures quite a bit but um, I've learned uh, over the last couple of years that uh, avoiding failure and uh, just keeping the poundages moving up week to week is the way to go for me um, Dennis, this is actually today and this is 450 my target today in my mind was only go for 3 because last week I did 430 for 5 so I'm thinking okay, 450 for 3 this week um, but um, as you can see, I was able to uh, bang out five reps, and um, I think I had uh, one more if I would have really pushed myself. But we'll save that for uh, the next workout, so we'll move up and, and try to see what I can do. Here we are finishing up uh, the cycle of workouts and finish up my last exercise with standing calf raises on the Smith machine. Um, the weight there is 505. Um, and I did today, I did four sets, uh, six reps. Uh, they felt pretty good. My <laughs>